What is up, everyone? I am Chris Knight, and you are watching The Real Review 3000, continuing DC Fandom Week 2021 here on the channel. And for our second video today, we're going to be discussing Peacemaker. Yes, Peacemaker, John Cena. And if you ask me, this is the perfect part for him. I watched Fast 9, and I liked Fast 9, but that just came across as a typical, you know, big wrestler guy going blah, 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 big guy blah, blah, blah. there wasn't much to that character didn't see i mean especially for being dom's brother it seemed like they could have done more with that but in this part he really seems to be able to get into it and make it his own part and i know that in the wrestling world john cena has been mostly a good guy but in this he, he just plays that dickish asshole character so well it's like he he, was, he puts himself in there and he becomes that part and he does a really good job and he really does show that he has acting ability in this part and i love it i think he's the perfect perfect fit for that now i know that peacemaker isn't exactly comic book accurate but i like the portrayal they had in suicide squad so this should be a pretty funny and fun uh tv series but let's talk about it before i go any further Peacemaker is an upcoming American te television series created by James Gunn for the streaming service HBO Max based on the DC Comics character Peacemaker. It is the first DC Extended Universe, or DCEU, television series, a spinoff from the 2021 film The Suicide Squad. That after the film, the series explores the origins of Peacemaker, who believes in achieving peace at any cost. It is produced by Pro Court Entertainment, and the Safran Company in association with Warner Brothers Television, Gunn serving as showrunner. Now, John Cena stars as a title character, reprising his role from The Suicide Squad, also starring Steve Agee, Daniel Brooks, Robert Patrick, Jennifer Holland, Freddie Strama, and several other people. Um, Gunn wrote all eight episodes of the series while completing work for The Suicide Squad during the COVID-19 pandemic. Four HBO Max officially ordered Peacemaker straight to series, in September 2020. Filming took place in Vancouver, Canada from January to July 2021, with Gunn directing five of the episodes. Peacemaker is set to premiere on January 13th of 2020, or I mean 2022, I'm so sorry. And really, I'm kind of interested and mildly optimistic. This is gonna be kind of fun. So uh, let's just go watch this trailer and see what we think about it. All right, let's do this. Headset on right here. Check those sunglasses and wait for it. Take a look at this lovely picture here. A man with his pet hanging out the window like a dog, but it's a baldy. That is freaking hilarious. I love this picture right here. And I hope, maybe, perhaps, that the bald eagle is his pet in this whole series because that I can see some funny things happening. So let's get to it, guys. Three, two, one, reaction. Jamil, you cool? Well, what does that mean? The truth is, you're supposed to be in prison. For what? Superhero stuff. What superhero are you? Peacemaker. Get out of here! There's no superhero called Peacemaker! Dude, I'm famous! <laughs> <laughs> You're a born killer with expertise in every weapon known to humankind. <laughs> oh my Give god. Give a chance to stay out of prison and work for me. Kill people. Bad people. This is hardcore. <laughs> We're handling in the field. John Economist, Tech and Tactics. And this is our new recruit, Ade Bayo. <laughs> you don't have to shoot people after you already killed them. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Who's the guy that's peeking out behind the trash can? Vigilante is trying to be helpful. <laughs> Our first target kind of like a Deadpool Roland character, Goff. it seems. Goff may be traveling with his family. Are you sure those two kids came out of those parents? That's an attractive couple, and that one looks like it came out of them, but the other one looks like a butt baby. A butt baby. <laughs> yeah, my older brother told me there's two types of babies. One that comes out normal, and then butt babies. Worse in every way, they come out of a woman's butt. <laughs> well, I believe that was a butt baby until I was like 14. That explains a lot. <laughs> Oh my There's God. something about him that's sad. Hey, Dad. I didn't mind, brother. Going to a Nancy boy like you. 
You know, lately I'm just like a maniac. Hey, no! No! That's because we're born killers. What separates us from other killers is we only kill bad people. Usually. <laughs> Unless there's a mistake. You use being a jerk. It's very Deadpool like. People away. <laughs> it's suck at PowerPoint. But if you would just drop that, people actually might like you. Oh god, I don't need to see that. I'm sure the women will love it, but oh. Uh. talk about this over at the other screen guys <laughs> if they, at least if they keep it lighthearted like that and uh i don't know don't don't get the, the, the violence and stuff okay fine but make it really kind of comic booky funny violent i guess maybe i don't know um but he seems to be in his wheelhouse john cena does so um, thinking this is going to be kind of fun to watch now you know with the marvel tv stuff that they've been doing it's kind of like eh, cause it, like they're saying oh it's connected but no it's not connected to the the rest of the mcu or anything like that this is obviously going to be connected to the dceu and suicide squad and all that stuff so i like that idea it's like just go for it add it as a part of the whole picture because it helps a storyline and i'm so surprised that like while yes some of the mcu stuff we know is going to play a part in the greater picture it just doesn't really like really heavily tie itself into it like we thought it would wandavision was supposed to tie itself into the, uh, dr strange the multiverse of madness and it just didn't do it mostly because they didn't get uh, benedict cumberbatch in it um for whatever reason they decided to scrap that idea um and, and just there's so much more they could have done in the mcu this appears to take a different approach and ties it to those movies ties it to suicide squad the dcu all of that i like that idea so let me know what you guys think put that down in the comments below and hey i'm chris knight this is the real review 3000 and i'm officially out of here please remember to like subscribe and never forget to ring that bell. Follow Chris Knight and The Real Review 3000 on these platforms. For email and Patreon, see the description box below. To reach The Ego, use the Twitter handle at The Ego 5150. We would like to thank the generous members of The Real Review 3000. Those members are Jesse Ritchie, JJ, aka Sithlord3827, Lady Tariel, Yvette, Abraham Morales, and Anzo of Bigger Ford Entertainment. Thank you for your support and donations that help us at The Real Review 3000 bring you, the viewer, better content. For more information on how to become a member, click the join button below.